I'm Sonia and I help people take their power back. If you're interested in working with me, check out the description below and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. In this video, I want to talk about manifesting on a time crunch. I have talked about this before. I don't like manifesting on a time crunch. And the only time I manifest on a time crunch is if I need something by a specific date or something's happening on a specific date and I want it to happen a certain way. Those are the only times I even think about a time crunch and I don't even think of it as a time crunch. It's this happened and I'm getting this outcome. I need this by this date and it's done. And that's how you manifest on a time crunch. If you need something by a specific date, like a bill to be paid, you assume the bill is going to be paid or it is paid, however you like to look at it. If you want to go out with your SP on a certain date, it's a set in stone plan. You're going to think of it as if that's what's true in your life. Just like anything else, you're just putting the time frame to it. Now, if you're doing what I used to do with the time crunch manifesting and being like, I'm going to manifest this in the next three days or manifesting isn't real. Good luck with that. It's probably not going to work. And... You're only going to be making yourself miserable and pushing out having what you want because you're not even convinced that the law is real in the first place and you don't understand how it works. So don't do that. Instead, focus on manifesting shit you don't care about to prove to yourself that it's real. So then you are more confident in putting a time crunch on it. In my personal opinion, and I know a lot of other people agree with me on this, and if you don't agree with me on this, that is your experience and that is awesome. But in my opinion, in my experience, manifesting on a time crunch is a higher level of manifesting. It is a more advanced skill of manifesting. If you are not good at staying in the wish fulfilled, putting a time frame to it is only going to make it harder for you to stay focused on having what you want, which is the whole name of the game when you're manifesting telling yourself you have what you want regardless of everything else. And if you're going to add layers onto it that make it harder, you're only making it harder on yourself, in my experience, to try and prove to yourself that it works. Or because you are so desperately like, I'll be happy when I have this thing, that you're like, it's going to happen right now so I can be happy. And in my experience, that never worked. When manifesting on a time crunch has worked for me, it's when... Like I knew Precious, one of my dogs, was getting, uh, she needed a couple scans done. And I just assumed that the vet was going to tell me she was healthy on a time crunch. Like the, or going to the vet on this date and they're going to tell me she's happy. Or like I didn't want to go to jury duty and just decided that they don't need me. And then they didn't. On a specific date. But for me, I don't set time frames for my manifestations. If you like to do that, that is up to you. And if you are causing yourself more stress and anxiety about it has to happen on this date in this way, this is what I was talking about in a previous video this month where I was talking about preconceived notions and like this has to get checked off and that has to get checked off when you're manifesting. If putting things on a time crunch is, excuse me, just allowing yourself to be disappointed because you don't think you're really going to get what you want. Don't be surprised when you're disappointed. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light.